On Thursday, Sri Lanka cricket announced that Sachit Rasenanayake, the off-spinner banned from bowling due to an illegal action, had completed remedial work at the University of Western Australia. The UWA said that Senanayake had shown tremendous improvement, but advised him to continue remedial work with local coaches in Sri Lanka. Senanayake is one of three bowlers to have been suspended from bowling in international cricket in recent times. Saeed Ajmal and Kane Williamson are the others. Many more have been reported for suspect actions as part of ICC's increased efforts to clamp down on cheats. So the fact that the University of Western Australia has said Senanayake has shown tremendous improvement will be the most encouraging thing, and not just for him, but for those whose actions are under the scanner and who have been banned. And this is particularly so for Saeed Ajman, who is the most high-profile bowler who has been banned. Uh, UWA's endorsement will give hope for Ajman. Now, Sinan IK has made significant strides in a short period of time. What will be interesting to see is the next few weeks, because Sinan IK can now apply for a reassessment. Now, this will give a roadmap of sorts for Pakistan and Ajwal, keeping the 2015 World Cup in mind. Obviously, their main aim will be to ensure that Ajwal can play in the World Cup and to uh, figure out the best way possible for him to get back quickly. So, if Sinanayake applies soon and has his action passed soon, it gives hope for the likes of Ajwal. Sinanayake has the option of undergoing the testing again and then bowl in domestic cricket. However, if he is suspended again within two years, he will be banned from bowling for a whole year. That said, completing remedial work, though just a beginning, is a big step for Senanayake. And it's a step that other players, both suspended and under scrutiny, need to work towards.